Let's take a stroll around the ship. She's been built in Italy, but she has the name of Southampton stamped on her stern. What makes this ship unique? Well, not a lot, actually, because she's a near-identical twin of the Queen Victoria. So, for the staff who work on board, finding their way around should be pretty straightforward. Inside, the Art Deco styling is something of a Cunard trademark. It harks back to the original Queen Elizabeth and Queen Mary in what many people still call the golden age of transatlantic liners. Elsewhere on board, it's much like any other cruise ship. 2,000 passengers and the maiden voyage sold out in just 29 minutes. It's to the Canary Islands and then there'll be a 103-night world cruise. This ship is towards the top end of the market, but it's still a package holiday. £90 a day with all meals and entertainment included, but not in this room. This is one of the most expensive suites at £16,000 a fortnight. And just take a look at the bathroom. Right now, the crew are preparing for the Queen to name this ship. And it is a big deal because it will stay with the ship throughout its life and be part of its character. After all, the Queen was there as a 12-year-old girl when her mother named this, the original Queen Elizabeth. Later, the Queen named QE2 and then Queen Mary II. Everyone is hoping when she cuts the cord that the champagne bottle really does smash against the side of this ship.